In the early 1900s, Krug Park in Omaha City was the place to be. Masses from across the states would flock to the park for its outdoor activities and amusement rides. Among its notable attractions was the Big Dipper, which at the time was one of America's most famous roller coasters. However, the park's history took a tragic turn on July the 24th of 1930, when a catastrophic accident unfolded, claiming the lives of four people and injuring many more. The incident shook the community and would forever leave a stain on Krug Park's legacy, as the Big Dipper disaster would go down as one of the worst roller coaster disasters in US history. So let's talk about it. This is the infamous Big Dipper disaster. Krug Park was founded by German-American pioneer Charles Teats in 1895. The park was then purchased in 1902 and was initially developed as a beer garden and recreational area by the Frederick Krug Brewing Company as a way to promote their brewery and provide a space for the community to relax and enjoy outdoor activities. In its early years, Krug Park primarily featured beautiful gardens, walking paths and picnic areas. The park's landscape was meticulously designed featuring manicured lawns, flower beds, and ornate fountains. As the park gained popularity, Frederick Krug decided to expand its offerings. They introduced various amusement rides to attract a larger crowd. Rides included the Tunnel of Love, a 72-horse merry-go-round, and a few roller coasters. In 1917, Krug Park constructed what would be their magnum opus of rides, the infamous Big Dipper. The Big Dipper roller coaster was created in 1917. It was designed by the renowned roller coaster engineer John A. Miller, who was known for his innovative coaster designs. The roller coaster was constructed and opened to the public at Krug Park, adding a thrilling and unforgettable experience to the park's attractions. The Big Dipper was a wooden roller coaster known for its size, speed, series of hills, and drops. The coaster track extended around 2,800 feet, offering a memorable and adrenaline pumping experience. The Big Dipper quickly gained a reputation as one of the most thrilling roller coasters in the region. Its fast speeds, sudden drops, and sharp turns provided riders with an exciting and sometimes wild ride. The reputation helped attract visitors from far and wide, solidifying its status as Crew Park's most famous ride. Today, the Big Dipper is still one of the most famous rides ever built, but not for the reasons the creator would have liked. Today, the Big Dipper is infamous for having one of the worst roller coaster disasters of all time, which occurred on July the 24th, 1930. The 24th of July was a warm summer's day, which meant it was peak season for the park. It was busy, and up until the incident, the day had been running smooth. The line for the Big Dipper was, as per usual, full. At approximately 5.45pm, boarding the ride was Mrs. Gladys Lundgren and C.H. Stout, who were in town visiting their friends. Anthony Politica and his sister Mary and Ruth Farrell were also on the ride. None of them could have foreseen the impending tragedy. The incident occurred as the four connector cars of the Big Dipper began their ascent up the 35 foot incline. Unbeknownst to the ride and park staff, a bolt had come loose, causing the brake shoe on the lead car to become entangled in the rear wheels. This set off a chain reaction of events it would soon plunge the roller coaster into chaos. With the brake system compromised, the cars hurtled forward, propelled by their own momentum. All onlookers could do was watch in horror. The force of the descent caused all four cars to veer off the side of the roller coaster frame, which caused three of the cars to overturn, trapping terrified riders beneath. The resulting impact was devastating, as the once joyful crowd stared in shock, trying to come to terms with what they had just seen. Within moments of the crash, the scene descended into a frantic flurry of activity. The crowd surged wildly around the wreckage, desperately searching for their loved ones. Mothers called out for their children, sisters cried out for their brothers, and friends desperately sought out one another in midst of the chaos. One witness said, until the ambulances came, the spot was a veritable hell. Another said, within a few seconds after the crash, the crowd was surging madly about the scene of the wreck, wildly seeking relatives and friends. According to reports, the roller coaster's cashier was so traumatized from what she had seen, she became hysterical and collapsed shortly after the tragedy occurred. The following day, as the community attempted to come to terms with the horrifying event, newspapers delivered the grim news. Four lives had been tragically cut short, 
and 17 individuals have been left injured. Among the dead were Gladys Lundgren, C.H. Stout, Anthony Politica, and Ruth Farrell, who was the youngest, being only 15. The ride was shut down, and an investigation was launched. In the years leading up to the crash, the roller coaster had been significantly refurbished twice, and no mechanical issues were ever found. Despite this, within a day of investigation, Omaha City officials concluded that the accident had been triggered by a malfunctioning brake shoe, which resulted from a loose nut on a wooden beam. According to Omaha World Herald, it was the generally accepted theory of the city investigators and the park management that the crash was caused when a nut slipped loose from its bolt, permitting the brake shoe to settle on the track and derail the front car. This car then dragged the following three cars with it in a 35 foot plunge. The maintenance team at the park, which I have shown on the screen now, were absolutely gutted by the incident. Eugene Lewis, one of the engineers said, I went over the entire track during the dinner hour, shortly before the accident, and everything seemed to be in perfect order. Sadly, it clearly wasn't. As a result of the accident, Omaha Mayor Richard Metcalf introduced legislation that banned roller coasters from Omaha. This meant that the Big Dipper had to be shut down immediately. This ban on roller coasters would eventually be lifted in the early 1950s. The crash garnered significant attention and became major news, leaving the entire state mourning the loss of the victims. Following the accident, Krug Park underwent a change in ownership, continuing operations in a different capacity. However, despite efforts to move forward, the park struggled to overcome the shadow cast by the tragedy. Ten years later, in 1940, Krug Park made the difficult decision to permanently close down its doors. It would remain derelict until 1955, when the former grounds of Krug Park underwent a transformation and were landscaped into a traditional style park. This was renamed Gallagher Park, which remains open to this day. This incident remains one of, if not, America's worst roller coaster disaster of all time. Let me know what you think about this case in the comments below. This is not an AI channel, I do all of this myself, the research, writing, editing, thumbnails, etc. And I upload every Thursday. So if you enjoy my work, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.